Hi there, astute me Tim Adams CPA here. And in this video series, I'm gonna show you the exact steps, the exact system that I use to get my advanced certification as a QBO Pro Advisor. Now make no mistake, getting your advanced certification is a pretty big deal. It's been estimated by some insiders that only about three to 5% of all QuickBooks Pro Advisors have the advanced online certification. Now, contrary to what you may have heard, some whispers out there, there are a couple things that you do not need to pass this test. Believe it or not, you don't need a ton of experience. Really, you don't need any experience with the advanced topics that are covered on the test. It's all in their training materials. The second thing you don't need, you don't need some elaborate multiple monitor setup. If you have one monitor, no worries, you'll be fine. So. What do you need? Two basic things. You need a good, sound understanding of basic accounting principles. If you're at a student meet, if you're interested in this advanced certification, you've already got that taken care of. I'm, sure, I'm certain of that. The second thing you need, this video series, which you're gonna follow to a T. So you take your basic accounting knowledge, you follow this video series, and you're gonna be just fine. Now, before you can even take the test, you have to be a QuickBooks Pro Advisor. If you are already a pro advisor, you know where to go to access the exam. You have my express permi permission. Um, you don't have the express written permission of Major League Baseball, but you do have my permission to <laughs> advance to video three. You can skip video two. If you're not yet a QB pro advisor, or you're not sure where to go to access the test, then you'll want to go to video two, and I'll show you what to do next.